Bag fuel, baby. Yeah, bag fuel. Oh, feeling good, feeling fresh, live and full, fully energetic. That's all. I feel good because we've been getting a lot of work done. We just had Car- Cardinal and Fish Owl on. We shooting a new joint. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very proud of the progress that we're making. We came from California. We did some pivotal stuff out there. The Corey Rooney stuff is doing better than I thought that it, it was going to do. Ghost was like, it, the, he predicted the future and said, this is how it's going to go. Well, I'm we, glad it's yeah. going like that. Of course, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? So I'm, I'm very proud of, of the progress that we're making and the people that are digging us and understanding back through. People are now understanding what we're trying to do and how we're trying to come across and the mm-hmm. message that we're giving to the people. And, and salute to the people who are really understanding the quality of these sit-downs that we're producing. They're really enjoying the angles we're coming from, the insight that we're giving, and it seems to be very refreshing because um, Rory had said, you know, ain't too many interviews people can do now. So many people do interviews. So many people are being interviewed that the questions either become redundant or the material becomes something they've heard 10 times over. And the fact that we're able to give a different, you know, sprinkle on it. I mean, it would have to be different because none of these people that are asking questions ever, like, been in the game. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's kind of rigged if you think about it. You rigged. Know what I'm saying? What because you mean rigged? I'm because they haven't been in the game, so they're coming always from the aspect of a fan. Mm-hmm. I'm not coming even when we we talk to people. I'm not coming from the aspect of a fan. I'm trying to get stuff out out them that I know, so that people can see that they understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. But I'm always coming at them as the aspect of a peer and as a person who knows what's going on and what has, has yeah. gone on. But, you know, to be um, honest and understanding, when this thing started, it wasn't too many people in the business doing sit-downs with other people in the business. So it's a fairly new process. Gotcha. You know? And so people that decided to go to journalism school, be media, jump into this content space, they are fans, sadly, or in a good way. They're not going to ever understand what it is to crack a budget, to be under the pressure of meeting deadlines. But that's on, the difference. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know. but, that's, but that's a major difference, knowing what somebody has gone through or is going through. You know what I'm saying? There are parts of the music business that I've excelled and I've done great things, mm-hmm. and there are parts that I, I, I have gotten record deals done and failed that my artists didn't get to the mountaintop, but artists that I actually helped Get to the mountaintop, did a Neo, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Putting him with Stargate, a Trey Song, starting a bidding war for him to get his record deal yeah. done with, with Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? I found Cassie first. I didn't lock the deal in, but I sent her home because she was really young, and that's how she ran into Ryan Leslie. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So when you do those type of things, I've been in the trenches and I've been almost there and didn't make it. But with Rock Wilder, I was there and I did make it. You know what I'm Understand. saying? So, and. It's, it's even those difference. accolades that you speak on, that's not even a 10 percenter thing. That's like a 1 percenter thing. You dig where I'm coming from? People that are in the 10 percent won't even accomplish all of that in a year, even if they're making six figures and things of that nature. So it's a different experience when people are sitting down because, you know, a lot of people that know me from my history, there's a comfortability. Then the people that know you from the relationships of the industry and they could just sit there and say, I know these two guys. I know what they do. Let's yeah. have fun. They're gonna take care of me. Like how Jimmy say, he's like, he's like, yo, please, I'm I'm going viral too much. Don't kill me. I was like, you good. Yeah, but but we earned that. That's something that when when people talk about about business and process, that was the understanding of us coming together. Yeah. I don't think that they understand that there is a total different dynamic that goes on with me and you. It's not about the camera, it's the way that we think, it's the way that we respond to things. Mm-hmm. So when we were starting this whole thing, you had a, a, a design and an outlook on where you wanted us to go, and I had a design on where where I, I, I wanted us to go. But at that same time of arguing and fighting, we was able to develop a plan and an understanding. It, it, it didn't come natural. There were things that was going on that he wasn't listening to, and he was just like, this is what I do, this is what I know. And there are things that, ha- that had occurred as a result of some mistakes that were made that enabled him him to change. There's a lot of people who who don't stick together. He stuck with me when I didn't know what was going on, when I would jump in when 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 everybody talked cuz I was trying to get my my point across and he let me do my thing. 
people have to understand when you're building a company or even you're building a unit or a creative structure, there has to be give and take within that unit. And, and I appreciate how we all stuck together because a lot of the times I see why certain businesses fail or certain aspirations fail. People bail very early. I've had people bail within three weeks. So this ain't going as fast as I needed to go. I'm like, yo, bro, it's only been 20 days. What's your expectation? Now, I'm not mad at people having lofty goals, but there's a difference between shooting for the moon and being extremely delusional. And and I think that's the thing when um we ran into a, a very known, well-known artist and he's like, yo, the fact that y'all are still sticking together. They knew us before they seen us do the show mm-hmm. together. Multiple shows, so that sticking together and going through the storms, going through the ups and downs is very pivotal in having a successful business model or you know achieving success. And but that's that's trials and tribulations. You you saying so? Right. Yeah, but people don't. People just think it's supposed to happen right away, and when they don't know your story, they don't know your history, and they see you moving up the ranks. They start saying, I can do that, or that's how it's supposed to go. And I'm like, no. But they don't know how it's, but see, this is the That's what they assume. But this, and and, and that's the number one thing that I hate, Mm -hmm. is when people assume. All they do is make all these grandioso assumptions about what they think it's going to be, what they think it should be, what they think is going on. But the key word is to know. So if you don't know, then you need to just be quiet and research and figure out what it is that you don't know. So now you can have the knowledge to make a knowledgeable um, decision or statement about what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's everything be based upon assumption. I assume. Who told you that? Nobody. I assumed it. When you do those type of things, all you're doing is setting yourself back. They're giving yourself negativity that's going to stop you from where you really need to go. Because if this stuff is made up in your mind, that's where it is. It's all in your mind. Mm, in your mind. Um, we we were watching a video with Carl Crawford. You know, he has this record label that he built from his you know, baseball empire um, playing with the Dodgers and the Red Sox, so he, he acquired a... I mean, his baseball contract, uh, Whatever, empire. I mean, however you want to... Come on, man, say the right language when you're talking I mean, to sports, man. He made it from his contract. It wasn't an empire. However you want to look at it, he got it that way, and he's been able to put out acts like Meg Thee Stallion, et cetera, et cetera. Erica Banks, too. Erica Banks, boom. And... We look at that and we think about it, and he's like, it took him about seven to ten million just to get that thing rocking. Yep. And I, and I'm like, are people really prepared? They're not really prepared to do that. How many people we know with record labels? I got this record label. I got that record label. And I'm like, seven to ten million. Just hearing that, that means if y'all don't even have that level of liquid cash available to push that record label forward, y'all all gonna fail. Yeah, I mean, Carl Crawford, this is what I talked about on many a day. When you launch in, when you say you're an independent record label, that means you have independent money. When you don't have money to spend on your project, you're a local artist. That's just what you are. It's no offense. Local artists go on to get major record deals. You go go from being local in Queens and you get a major record deal with um, Def Jam. Now, now, Now you major, but you have to know where you are. Carl, Carl, Carl Crawford was an independent, like a cash money, like yeah. a Master P, where like a death row at first, where they were putting their, their direct cash into everything that they're doing. You have to have studio time. Yeah. You have to have people working for you. You got to have producers. They Everybody got to eat. You got to travel. Per diem. You need clothes. You need per diem. You have to mix the records. You have to pay for lawyers and lawyers and contracts. And a whole bunch of things that you have to pay for along the way. Marketing campaigns, promo tours. All these things are what I be saying that attribute to you paying for your record. It's not about giving DJs and people. Um, people money it's about yo you have to pay a promoter with all of that <laughs> understanding right can we explore this then why is it that you know historically black record labels don't last long especially when they're hip hop based such as Rockefeller 
Rough Riders. You don't think those lasted long? What, what, what do you consider long? Are you talking about Motown long? Yeah, or like even like the big majors like Warner, um, um, Def Jam. They're not the same. Well, I mean, when you when you when you're talking about Rockefeller, Rock Warner is a distributor. Warner distributes Atlantic and Warner Records and all that. Def Jam is a part of a machine which is universal, which distributes Def Jam and all that. Def Jam is like a Motown. Def Jam is what you would consider a hip hop Motown. Understood, but we, we we watch. We see these labels. They get these acts. They get the system going. They understand the inner workings, and then, like, they don't have the same momentum anymore. Like who? Like like a like a Rockefeller. A rough Rockefeller ride. broke up because they, I understand, but there's a lot of black Jane. labels like that. Where are they? Cash money still together. I mean, where are they? I mean, are they? Yeah, we talking about cash, cash money is still together. So that's one. We're talking about where the labels are. People just stop. Certain people stop making music. Every label isn't gonna have timeless music. If 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 you look at Master P's music, it was good at that time. Is it gonna be timeless stuff that we're that we're gonna play up yeah, here? Yeah, what's, what's now, no limit? Now, at? Now, 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 I, now, I don't know if they're gonna play play, play down there. He's not. They stop. People stop making music. There was a time that Bad Boy stopped stopped making music. It's a bad Boy Records. If, 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 if Master P. Wanted to sign somebody, which wouldn't make any sense right now because he's took his fame. You take your music fame and you go on but to what, another thing. But what I'm I'm sitting here like Barry Gordy, Barry yeah. Gordy for Motown was not an artist. Okay, Underst yeah, we understand. That. Russell Simmons was not an artist. That's why you still see those things around and those and, and so, those are pillars. When you have an artist, when you have the Master P being a rapper and, and an artist, the label takes on a whole different di direction like it's Puffy. Puffy became an artist. If Puffy never became an artist, you would probably have 10 more world-renowned rappers and singers out here right now. He He's still responsible for people like Janelle Monae, Machine Gun Kelly. People don't even talk about that. That's 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 Puff Daddy. You know what I, I'm saying? I understand all of that. I, I don't have an issue with none of that. I'm looking at these labels, these black-owned labels that came out with a bang, created these legacy artists, whether it be from Ja, from, from um, Biggie, Pac, Death Row. They're, for whatever reason, when I look, it's like they have a good five-year run. Five, seven-year run. And then it's like you don't hear nothing from them. It's not the same energy. It's not the same momentum. Whereas you see these big legacy labels, they have various acts. You can always hear, oh, I just I just signed the Def Jam or I just signed the Universal. But can I ask you a question mm -hmm. real talk? Why do you talk when I just answered the question of what's the difference? I answered you. What? And then you asked me the same question. Hold on. And those, and those legacy I labels. I answered don't and don't and don't and, and don't and those legacy labels. There were not artists. Barry Gordy was so not. So then essentially, no. To add on, black labels or these independent labels are not meant to last. They're no, just. We don't I'm, even own those labels, to be honest. It's, it's like we own the name, but they getting funded. Rockefeller was was getting with, funded by Universal. Universal. So, they're more so if Universal stops your funding, you would need to then take your situation and go to a new deal. What Jay-Z did was he spun from there. You say it's gone. It's not. It just became Rock Nation. Wow. Yeah, but now it's, uh, it's what? Rock Nation is what now? Well, it's everything. It's an overall. It's bigger. It's, it's bigger than Rockefeller. Yeah, it, I agree. It, it, it has touring. It has management. Yeah. And it signs acts. It, you, J. Cole, who they're everybody... managing acts. J. J. Oh. Cole, who everybody yeah. loves, is Rock, is, is Rock Rock, is rock, is, is, rock Nation is funding Dreamville. You get that's what I'm saying? saying. Rock Nation is a part of the of the whole shit. That, so they're that, a management in a their management company in a bank. That's that's what universe. Bro, that's is. not that's bro. bro. That exactly. Hold on. Let's. You're like this is what they do now. Do they? They don't put out music. They, if J Cole puts out music, Rock Nation is putting out music. He's a Rock Nation artist. This is what I'm saying. He's not an artist. He's under management. No, he's an original Rock Nation artist. You think no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was there, okay? The original signings of Rock Nation was Alexis Sky, Range, and J. Cole. Okay. 
J. Cole, no matter what you see, is not implanted up there. J. Cole is, signed, is a Rock Nation artist. J. Cole was signed to Rock Nation when they was over at Sony. Rock Nation took their deal and was moving around. Now they're fully independent. They was at Sony, and that's where J. Cole is. He is a Rock Nation Dreamville artist. Dreamville is under J. Cole. Where do you think they get the funding from to do Dreamville Festival and all this shit? Cool. I understand all From of that. From Nation, so Live they, Nation. They, it's they, all have, they have Meg the, all right, they have Meg the Stallion under there. That's not... An That's art, management. Uh, this is what I'm trying to tell you. They're more on the management side. This is what they've... Nobody, they can do all. <laughs> I'm not, but nobody, not, uh, nobody, nobody looks at Rock Nation as nobody, a record label. Nobody's not saying... Listen, nobody's not saying that they're not more on the management side. What I'm trying to explain to you is you're saying, what you're saying is that these labels are gone. They're not. Cash Money is still there. Rock Nation is Rockefeller. That's all, all, all they did was do what they do. We're going to take the CEO out, which was Dame Dash. We're going to take him out, and we're going to move on to here, and we're going to redefine ourselves. We're going to sign Axe. They signed Axe. It was different to break the Axe. Range didn't break. The other girl didn't break. Rita didn't break like that. Rita broke across seas where she was from. Mm -hmm. Then you had other people. They didn't break. So what they did was get smart. J. Cole was is, is a dichot is let me use the right word. J. Cole is the product of being able to manipulate two systems. He was in Rock Nation with Sony, but he was also under Mark Pitts, who had a whole nother label and a whole nother budget. That's why when you saw him come out, he people talk about remember Superstar J had to call me back and tell me that I'm right because they cause they was thinking J didn't help J. Cole. Jay, Jay put J. Cole on his third single, Star is Born, whatever it was, that put him on the radio. The next thing you know, you had him on Miguel's record. Who was Miguel signed to? Mark Pitts. Who is who is who is um who, who, who's a part of J. Cole at that time? Mark Pitts too. Mark Pitts and Rock Nation is now working in unison. Sony and wherever Mark Pitts was, Jive or whatever that, that was at that time. They're working in, in, in unison to make J. Cole. I understand Now, that. The, 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 the reason why you don't hear people slapping Rock Nation all on it is because J. Cole is a self-contained entity. When you look at That's Rock, it. When you look at Rock Nation, nobody looks at them as a record label. Nobody. Nobody says that's a record label. They're pumping what, out What music. do they say? They look at them as a management company. Like you said in your... No, listen to what I'm saying. Like you said earlier, they've ascended past whatever it is. They do sports, they do management, marketing. Nobody sits there and says, yo, yeah, I'm going to release my music through Rock Nation. Do you Nation. know Drake's deal? Who? Drake's deal. Drake. Yeah. You think Drake is selling t-shirts in the record label not get money on it? If he signed to a 360 deal. I mean, at Drake's level right now, you think they can command to take you a part of his the merch? OVO, the OVO fashion shit he got is just his. Like, Drake is a, an anomaly. You, you can't. You you would have to take a lower tier artist and be like, that makes sense. He can command and dictate whatever he wants at this point. So Drake just made a relationship with Nike. Bro, on. can I just say something about y'all <laughs> about about what he's missing? He's always talking about the 90% of the people who look at Rock Nation as a management. People know Torin is the biggest shit out. They have Torin. You didn't even mention it. So Torin is taking it or is taking it to, to a whole nother level. We have Torin, we have management, and we have a key rapper. It doesn't matter how many we have. I am a record label. Who has J. Cole? Who's selling these records? Who has the shit that's under J. Cole? Who's selling these records? It's all affiliated with Rock Nation. Rock Nation's uh, um, um, singer, Beyonce. What are we talking about? Beyonce, so she's not with Sony. She's with Rock Nation. She's a part owner. When Jay-Z wants to put something out at 60 years old, what's it going to be under? Rock Nation. That means Rock Nation is always is, is a label. Whether people are looking at it correctly or not, if you're not looking at it like that, you're just wrong. Period. Look at the total picture, everybody. So, 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 the total so, picture, so, not just what your lens okay. is, 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 is is staring okay. at. Understand all of that. So when I look at Hove, whether he decides to put music or not, whatever they, they finesse, that's an independent label. That's is Rock Nation still an independent label? Then? Rock Nation is a label. No, no, no. You're Red talking about just period. Right? It's in, no, no. Hold on. In, 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 no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You talk about putting your own money up, 
signing your own acts and doing your own thing. That's an independent label. Who's talking about putting my money up? Rock Nation is funded by Live Nation. Live Nation funds them. Live Nation is the fun, is the funding for Rock Nation. Everybody knows that. Live Nation gave Jay-Z the deals. That's why y'all got Jay-Z touring. Because they gave him the money up front when he was touring. Where everybody was like, why Jay-Z keep going on tours? Because Rock, because Live Nation paid him. Ghost just tried to tell y'all Live Nation is doing the festivals. What do y'all think is going on? It's a monopoly. If y'all can't see it, they're monopolizing the game. Y'all are looking at one aspect, management, recording, it's everything. You think I want merch, you think I want Universal, touring. you think Universal <laughs> and Nike ain't in cahoots? Everybody's in cahoots. Okay, so just Drake got a Nike collab. You think that don't go through? If his OVO is under Universal and Nike's doing the deal, Nike has to talk to OVO and Universal. Then you can't just talk so, to so Drake. Drake is with Universal. O o o o OVO has a stamp over here that we gave him the money for. That means I co-own that too. It's yours, Drake. You promote it, but we're funding it. So if you go out and get something that says OVO on it from Nike, they have to talk to me. As well. All right. We all getting rich. All right. Understand all of that. <laughs> so the biggest mistake that I'm understanding based on what you and Ghost is telling me that these independent labels made was they just only focused on the music. They didn't evolve past like they didn't own. They don't no, own their no, own no, no, shit. No, 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 no. Jay Z didn't own Rockefeller. Jay Z don't. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. He hold on. parlayed it. Hold on. I understand. But like how that's Esso, why he is Jay Z. Who listen, he is? Bro. Listen to what Esso said earlier. He said what happened is they evolved into something. So when I'm looking at all these other labels that didn't ascend or have any staying power, the number one thing they all have in common was they only focused on the music. For and, the I, most and, part. I, and I'm gonna keep asking you this: What labels are you talking about? Because I don't agree with you. So you're acting like I I'm agreeing with you. I don't agree with what you're saying at all. Tell me the labels you're talking I just about. Name the whole bunch of them. You yeah, think you still... name Rockefeller? That's what not I, right. What else right. did you name? No what? limit. Where's No Limit Records at? Ma Master, Bankrupt. wait, wait, Slowly, so yo, uh, I understood. Master P, Ma I'm, I'm gonna say this for the third time. Okay, the record labels who the artist start goes how the artist goes. It goes how their career goes. Mariah Carey is signed to her own label under Sony. Nobody cares about what her name is because her name, she's known as Mariah Carey. If she stops making records, that label's not gonna be funded. It's not going to be nothing. When Master P became not a factor, the whole label went down because he did not have a flagship artist. It they was himself. It goes back to what I'm saying. When they're focusing on the music, how they're going, based on the success of the music, that's going to be the determining factor of how the visibility of that label goes. But he wasn't just focusing on the music. I, he was focusing on movies. He had a sneaker. But when you're, but when you're led by this, when you're doing business, mm -hmm. okay, when you're Barry Gordy and you're not worried about singing and you and what you're doing is not revolving around your fame, you have a chance to have longer longevity because it's not based upon how you're moving. It's based upon how the people that you're putting on is moving. When we're black, we're using the fame that we have, like us right now, and we would take the fame that we would get if when we get a deal and say we're gonna put somebody else on, and and that's how we're gonna build out the mm. empire. If, if they don't go on and become something bigger than us, if they don't go on and I am the flagship, which is normally is, that's why you're getting the deal like 50 Cent. 50 Cent was the flagship for G-Unit. Once 50 stopped saying, I'm going to put my effort into making records and I'm going to put my stuff into doing movies, it was not the same. That doesn't mean, shifted, uh, hold on, that doesn't mean Lloyd Banks can't rap. That doesn't mean a young buck was trash. That doesn't mean the game is doo-doo. That doesn't mean that no, Tony Yayo can't rap. None of that. It's the focus is over here now. And in order for us to survive and we under a flagship, a flagship rapper, it's not going to be the same. But no Limit. Wait, before you get there. No Limit began to experience financial troubles in 2003, filed for bankruptcy, mm -hmm. and became defunct. Master P sold No Limit Catalog for $200 million. Mm -hmm. That's in 2001. I understand that. But what Esso said back to having that flagship artist, right? 
the flagship artist of Cash Money, has shifted three times in our face. Wayne, Hot Boys, Nicki, Drake. That's what's allowed them to sustain. It was, what? If, if it was just only Wayne and he had stopped, is Cash Money still the same if they don't have Drake and Nicki Minaj? They wouldn't still be relevant, right? right. That's what I'm saying. But that, but 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 behind, you're making my point. Where who are the ones? You name no limit. Who else is not? You know who who's on else? Cash Money? Mm. Blueface. Who? Blueface. Okay. Okay. Everybody that's on Young Money is still on Cash still Money. On yeah. Everybody yeah. that's on Young Money is on ca ca Cash Money, bro. But if they're going... Little Wayne is still on Cash yeah. Money. So what are you but, talking about? No, but when I'm talking about like with Bad Boy Records, go back to... You have a flag... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a flagship record label, right? Or flagship artist on that. And as time goes, if you don't keep replenishing the supply, you're going to fade out. So when I'm looking, I'm like, these record labels are coming out with a bang. Boom, they got all these big name dudes. But you would I, think, let me ask you a question. Okay. Are you confusing distributors with record labels? Because that because that seems like you're confusing the distributors yeah. that are around for a long time with the record, the record labels. labels. Because the white record labels are not around neither. They come and they go. Mm -hmm. If a record label has a, a record label has a 10 year run, you're lit. Motown Records was its own distribution. Mm -hmm. All right? Universal bought Motown Records. That's why you can't get rid of Motown because they have a deal. They were their own yep. entity. So when they over when it, when they bought the entity, it became a part of, of all the profit sharing as well as they get with, with Universal. That's why Motown survives as part of the profit sharing mm -hmm. because they were their own distributors. And I think that that's what you're confusing is the distribution companies with the record labels and you're crossing and, and you're crossing which one is, is which. Because your because your example is the the people that are around nobody nobody stays around that long. There is no that's why I started to say there is no Motown. I, that's why I go back to when I'm looking right how you explain what how Rockefeller spun out and became Rock Nation had the flagship with J Cole Jay Z and then they've morphed because all the other you named a lot of artists that didn't make it right so. They hit the lotto with J. Cole. They still got the lotto with Jay-Z and Beyonce. Cool. Those are anomalies. Those are mega. Just those three alone can carry multiple labels. And then you saw, talk about management, how they evolved into sports, into merchandising, everything like that. When I'm looking at other labels that solely focused on the music right now, whereas with Carl Crawford, 1501, he's focusing on the artists. The longevity of what I'm seeing with these labels and these entities is to go beyond the music. Fuck the music, really swerve into something else. Just like the mega record labels, how Ghost said, OVO, ties to Nike, building the relationship. Now, looking back to what y'all saying, I'm like, if y'all only solely focus on the music, you're lucky to get 10 years. But it's not about you. It's about if your artist can go beyond the parameters. It's not about you. You have to pick the artist that goes upon, around the parameters. I think people think this is easy. Of course not. All right? No, but I mean, the, the, the questions that you lead leads me to think that you or other people think that this is easy because it's, it's curiosity. Because, because, because when somebody's staying around for 10 and 12 years and, and you're putting it in language like they come and they go, 10 and 12 years if there is a long time. Let, let me help you with Let me help you. Let, no, I don't listen to what I'm saying. When, when, when you tell a person what's the average NBA career, they're in shock. Because a big name supersedes the reality of what's going on. So we've seen LeBron play for 20 years. Kobe play for 20 years. Luka's been in there for a lot of years. They just assume, or just like when they think, oh, a rapper signs a big deal, he's good. They don't understand the reality. Warpness of success makes people think that's how it goes on, on a scale. So... When I'm seeing 10 years, yeah, that's a big deal. But people are sitting there like, yo, I, I, I'm reminiscing. Where's, where's the bad boy records? Where's this? Where's that? And they're like, what happened? Why, why are they able to keep accumulating artists? That's, that's just the question. Like I don't, said, I don't, uh, I, hey, listen, when we come to the black community, mm -hmm. 
what they don't see, they don't think is hot no more. Agreed. Okay? If so, you're not in their face, so, it don't matter. So, you're so right. because Puff Daddy doesn't have people Bad boy records. up and down Harlem mm -hmm. with banners and stuff like they used to, they think that it's not it's not existent. That's why I made the the um, statement about Janelle Monae. Mm -hmm. When you every time you see Janelle Monae, she's a tested bad boy, but his old way of doing things, he don't do it right now because he's not that in the music guy. Mm -mm. You got me. Mm -hmm. So he his his effect is let me find the talent, let Janelle Monae do what she does, and let her find herself. She can't. She's from Bad Boy Records. This is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. But if this was back in 1997. Puff Daddy would have been dancing in her videos when she pulled her chest out. He he would have been in there with the champagne in the background. He's 50-something years old. Things have to evolve. Mm -hmm. And people are expecting, expecting everything to stay the same. It's it's not. And, that, and, 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 and that's what people are having problem with. The only constant thing about change is change. Yeah. Okay? No, I mean... <laughs> Like, like why? But I'm just saying, they why hate change? Why? What? But yeah. but why are they not? This is the thing. They everybody wants Puff Daddy and Jay Z and Nas and all these people to be who they was when they was 25, 27, yeah. and yeah. 35. They're not. They're 50 and 53. Let it go. Things change. No, God, I, I, I like, agree. I don't understand. If he agrees, why is he even no, talking me listen, about these questions no, from these doo doo heads? If he agrees not, with me, listen, listen. You gotta. He should just make the statement. No, no, no. you gotta understand something. Real, real talk. Hip hop is only fifty years old, so everything we're seeing is still brand new. So now there ain't no Puff Daddy that made it to fifty. He started out twenty. This, other than that, we got Puffy. We got. Hove, we got Nas. Before that, there was nobody. Snoop, Dr. Dre. And Snoop, Dr. Dre. Uh, agreed. I'm, I'm, I'm encompassing all of that. And people are sitting there. They want to have their nostalgia. They're like, hey, what's going on? E when you name these guys changing, I agree with that. What they're thinking is, shouldn't they have somebody to bring along to keep the, the flame going, keep this going? This is why I said to you, mm -hmm. y'all give me the impression like y'all think this it's, is easy. Nobody's thinking it's easy. Because when easy. you say, because when you say have somebody to come along, so do you know how hard it was to find these motherfuckers? Do, does anybody understand that Faith Newman had to beg the label to sign Nas? Do you understand that nobody wanted Jay Z? And these are the people that people are fucking worshiping. But they, but you just want to find another motherfucker? It's not about kill it. Like no, be a fan, enjoy what they did, and move the fuck on. If you want another Jay Z, you go find the motherfucker okay. and put him on. Okay, that's all they gotta do. The ninety percent needs to find another. Yeah, Jay go ahead. If that's the ones that want it and they think it's so easy, Jay should be slipping another one in there. Pause. And Nas should be bringing another Nas in. So y'all go put your money up. Y'all go risk your families and your whole lives. Y'all yeah, yeah. go sleep no nights at all. Y'all trick money on other people to get them to do things that you want them to do. Put your money up to fucking travel. Mm. Do all the stuff that niggas is doing to find these motherfuckers if y'all think it's so easy and put them on. Then market and promote but the motherfuckers. Nobody, but nobody's saying it's well, easy. If they, if, the Nobody, way, the way that niggas are coming. You, you know what you're keep, doing. They you know what you're crying doing? about no, no, this no, no, shit. No. no, you know what you're doing. You assuming. It's annoying. No, no, no. You assuming. What am I assuming? How, whoever said it was easy. Nobody ever said it was easy. People are just trying to figure out. Hey. What happened? It ain't well, they no, no, fucking no. job. No, no. Sit it, back and be a fucking no, fan no. and leave it up to the people that do this shit. Guess what? That's what they need to do. Guess what? <laughs> Cons consumers have the right to ask questions. And, make and they them. got the right to shut the no, fuck up, too. No, and mind their business. No, when you're spending money, you can ask questions. When you're they spending money, they ain't money. Ooh, they're they not. asking. No, they're not. No, they oh, no, want not. No, you know they're why? Not. You know why? The they fans like, that want the music back, they're, they're not spending. Feeling. They not spending oh, the money that's on That's an assumption. It. No, that's I know an assumption. They, no, they're not. That's not an assumption. Who? This is the logic, my nigga. 
If I'm looking for something that they don't have, I'm not spending the money. You're not bringing another Nas. So since you're not bringing another Nas, that's why I'm mad. I got the money to spend and nobody to fucking yes, spend it on. Because they're like, hey, <laughs> this is what I want until I see something back or I get that feeling I'm not going to spend my money. You're making but my point, so it's not but, an but, assumption. But they don't, you see how he makes my point? No, no, no. You see how he around and makes my point? Hold on. If you're the one that's going to a restaurant and you've been the one patronizing that restaurant and you're like, I don't like how that food is, you don't have the right to complain because you're the one spending your money. I'm not going to spend my money. I'm going to leave. All right. I'm going to say, this is not what I came for. All right. I want this off my check, and I'm leaving. All right. I'm not going to sit there and keep coming back to the same restaurant no. and say, do you make the steak the way I want it? No, I'm going to come back. Do you have somebody else that can make the steak that I want it? No. Yo, can you make me a steak? Can you make me a steak? Can you make me a steak? That's no, not nigga. What... That's fucking dumb. But that's not what's <laughs> happening. That's fucking no. dumb. What's... Go to another Hold place on. and go find you a steak. That's what or they're go, doing. Go make your own Hold fucking on. steak. Hold on, that's what I they, make my own steak, nigga. Hold on, hold on. that's what they, that's what they're doing. They're looking. They're not. Hold on, hold on. They're not making no, their no, own no, steak. No, hold on. They're going towards other alternatives. What's that? Uh, whatever artist gives them that look. That's why Griselda was able to bust on through. People were like, they're older. They're bringing that feeling back. They're bringing that boom bap back. There be, you so go. Be happy. No, I understand that. You but, want more than Griselda? Hey. You want more now. You got what you wanted. People that but you spend want money more. are greedy. <laughs> huh? That's what it is. Greed. <laughs> if you're spending your money and you have a concern and you see something, you'd be like, yo, what's up? Don't spend it. Yo, yo, this is back fuel, right? If you don't like something, don't buy it. Boom. Hey. If Boom, we can solve all these no, questions. No, no, no. Nobody got to right. complain. All right, cool, you, know you can you talk. Talking to, you talking to niggas who watch shit that they don't like. They're dumb. <laughs> no, that's dumb, nigga. I'm not talking to them. I keep telling you. I can have all them dumb doo-doo head 90% no. motherfuckers. You can have them. Take them. Take them. But that's I don't not what we're talking them. about. There are people, <laughs> we have people, executives complaining. You've been complaining about the music. You're the first one to say, yo, these niggas don't make good music. No, 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 stop. Then you don't have no right but to complain. Nobody's then. buying music, huh? Nobody's buying it. Nobody is. No, they streaming they're it. They're streaming it. it. Nobody's buying. That's me. why I keep saying he talking about something he did ass wrong, but he arguing with no, me. The, even he even, arguing. Okay. even in pocket academics. Mm. Did y'all see what happened to his, at his live show? No. What happened? He had like eight people in the crowd. I don't think that. Oh, yeah. I think that was manipulated in my think person. So? Yes. I think I think Philly don't fuck with academics because there's a lot of gangsters and niggas over there. They ain't, they I, 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 no, I don't want them. I, I don't think me personally, because we've you been... You think they set him up? No, I think what happened was because Little Uzi was on at that time, and people might not know when the podcast stage, and it might have been just the beginning, and fans are trickling Why in. Why do you say Little Uzi? This on. Actually, yo, yo, this is a big... The wait, hold on. Wait, yo, yo, let him set up the big assumption. He said Little Uzi. I'm like, where he get Little Uzi from? This is all his dream. No, 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 no Little Uzi, Uzi was... You got to stop Lil assuming, Uzi was too, bro. He, he was, was performing. Was oh, okay. Okay. What are you talking about? Really? I, no, I'm just, I'm just no, making sure. No, no, that's... I got to make sure with you. No, 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 you don't, because uh -huh. that's, we, when we went to Made in America, it was the same setup. People were running through stages. It, yes. But how would we know that Little Uzi was on at the same time as him? Is that what they yes, said? Is that, is that what it's on the bill. It's on the bill. It tells you, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So when it's starting, they're like, all right, cool. It's over here. Little Uzi's performing. It might go back to what you said. Did they set him up? But I think, did they show overall? That was the beginning of his show. I'm not an academics fan, but was what was it like mid-30 minutes in? Was it still only eight niggas? They said it got to like 20 niggas. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the niggas... Yo, what, 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 what about this? Go for it. Maybe the niggas was there, and then when Uzi came on, the niggas left, and that's when they filmed. That could be fair. Now that's a good assumption, I think. The that's niggas a very was good there. assumption. The niggas was there, That's ready, a very good and assumption. And they like, all right, we going to fix him. Little Uzi. And now everybody's like, what? Little what? Uzi? Yes. <laughs> That's how you fix him. You don't put him on before. You make sure that as soon as this nigga goes on and he got a little and people coming over there. Where's Little Uzi from? Philly. Where was Roots Picnic? Philly. <laughs> yeah, but but they got a problem with him in Philly? See, I don't know. Y'all know I don't know. Y'all know, know, know academics. academics. 
I, I mean, listen to people, me. guys. Some people gotta fuck with academics because he's paused. He's one of the top niggas in it, this game. It, but I think people will, if from Philly, will watch academics, but to support him and beat, they like, man, fuck that little nigga. Like, I think it's, it's Philly's a very gangster culture. They're hard. Still. They are very, no, they're I don't, still in that shit. They are. They are mm-hmm. very. It's not like they're not rocking because with I saw they other shows. Gangster. Their lip service. Um, a couple of other shows. They had a decent crowd there. Yeah. So. But but they went on at different times. They were on at different days. And I put a little Uzi on with Angela. Yeah, there you go. Come on, stop that. And I, l- listen, we 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 understand how this camera thing is. It's easy to manipulate footage. Yeah, but this, but hold, on, hold on, hold on, ghost, ghost. hold on. It's Roots Picnic, which means there's older people there and younger people there. Older people ain't rock, flocking to, to Uzi, my Go, Ghost. Let me let me explain something to you. <laughs> they not flocking to academic need neither. neither. That's but ghost, ghost. As a camera person, a visual coordinator, you know how to manipulate footage. I've been in con- you say no, the footage was malip- you can't manipulate listen, people in listen, the footage. Though. Listen, listen, chill. You can sit there shoot where they. How do we know it wasn't a pre-production? Shit? Hold on, hold on, the hold. stage, and he was ghost, to a ghost, 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 chill. Ghost. You just jumping. How do you no, no, no. ghost? How do you not know that he might have came out at five thirty? The set said 8 p.m. and Uzi's not coming on at 5 30 either. Go, goals. What are you chill. talking about? Chill. They they, but no, they you chill. Chill. You got to chill. You contradicted no, your own no, no, argument. No, no I'm not. Ghost, Uzi gotta, came on at 5 30. Ghost, you have to chill. Uzi came on at 5 You have to Ghost, chill. Let him finish. You have to chill, bro. Let let's let's work ahead. this out. It could have easily been, yo. We shot this at 5.30 while he's doing sound check. Niggas came out to see him and then put it up and then somebody, then. You can change the time they stand. Bruce Picnic is all day. It's a festival. So we understand all right, that. let him land the plane. Goes. You have to chill. And then just let him go ahead. Then we're going to let you talk. I'm not defending academics. I'm doing this camera thing. SM now knows being around it. You can manipulate footage. I always remember when we went to that Migos party. And that shit was annoying to us. And all I did was shoot a girl twirling with another girl with the Migos. And everyone said you was in the littest place in the world. Was it the littest place in the world to be at so? No, but, 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 the time they, but, but what about the time they stamp and what he's talking Go about? Go for it. I, I do know people fuck around with the time they stamps, though. I do know that. No, yeah. That's very possible, Ghost. That nigga could come out at 5.30 and the nigga put a time day stamp on there and say 8, eight o'clock. Nigga. Mm-hmm. I know that's very possible. Go I'm for it. Go, no, happened. Ghost, let's go for it. Go, ghost, ghost is ready to let his machine gun off. The Roots Picnic. Yes. Official lineup and time slot. It starts has at 12. A, has act, DJ Academics, 8 p.m. It says. 8 p.m. Okay. Okay. But now, what about hold on, sound check? Hold on, hold on, hold on. did a sound ghost, check, Ghost. Ghost, I'm going to help you, though. When you look at the footage, 8 p.m., was it dark outside or was it still sun? It was sun outside. I saw I saw that clip. It was sun. That don't look like 8 p.m. No, no. I, I don't need to defend academics. Either way, it doesn't, like. Okay. It could have been a sound check, Ghost. Ghost, you know. So. Yo, n- I, listen. I, so. But what's the point, though? Let's, let, let's get to No, the go point. back to your, what was the point? Because I know you was going to. Oh, I said, I don't think so. I, I don't think it was a sound check. No, think, but when you brought it up. Because, I don't think niggas in Philly really fuck with academics. It's not that hard to believe. Let me say this. Philly is a rowdy market. And he's offended a lot of people in Philly, Chicago. Got beef with Meek Mill. Yes. He, older Rock niggas don't fuck with, f- fuck with fuck with academics like that. So now, now wouldn't it be, let's just. Let's do assumptions, even though Esso don't like it, and that's not our thing. Wouldn't it make more sense for a large audience to come just to fucking boo him? No, Why not? hell no. Nah. Why not? What, because you think they, it would galvanize? Because, because listen, mm-hmm. if you it. have a crowd there, it doesn't matter why they're there. You know what I'm saying? You accumulated a crowd. You accumulated a crowd. These niggas want people there. If it's 500 it's people there. It's still that, 20 people. If you it's gotta, five, you gotta, listen, like. If it's 500 people there that hate you, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. You rather that than, than, 20, 50, than 50 people to show up that like you. Because what you're doing is you're galvanizing. You have something going on that people still want to come see. Mm-hmm. They'll, they'll fuck with that. Like, yo, niggas can't stand this thing. But did he bring them out, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what niggas will, will, will look at. So, nah, he don't want that to be empty because mm-hmm. em, 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 empty is going to make the people look at his deal. Like, is he I, really that guy? Yeah. Why is Spotify he over? gave him all this money? Is he over? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we do put money behind him, and he's on our own network style of shit. Maybe we need to look for somebody I else. I think that wasn't his market, to be honest. What What's his mean? market? What's his market? I think if he did some shit in Brooklyn, like rolling it'll loud. Pop. If he did some shit in Brooklyn, it'll pop. Is anybody looking for him in Brooklyn to beat them up? Well, white, white, white hype beef kids. Yeah, hype beef. White hype beef. White, white, white hype kids. Hype who look streamers. Yeah, a lot of people who stream go to different. Yeah, I don't see. To- I don't see streamers going to Philly. Like Casanay ain't going to Philly to do some shit. Why not? You don't think he's he could not, go to Roots? Business? He can. I'm not saying he can't. But you, you just don't think he's into it. I just don't think his market he's is young. there. No, he's no, like, no. He could go to Cali and pop off pop crazy. Off. So, so, you, I can, so can academics. I think academics in Cali could do numbers. Is anybody looking for him in Cali? Like, like, oh, like, like that's what I'm trying to tell. Knows, yeah, when I say looking for him, I don't mean or oh, do do people know him? I know I'm talking about. Cause y'all say it's a lot of, and I know I don't know. No, he's offended a lot. Of, I know it's a lot. Like of him people. and Charleston White had a show that was supposed to go down, and they canceled it. No, but that was because he wilded out on Asian people. He wilded out on Math's daughter. Yeah. Um, he wilded out on New That's York. That's Charleston White, though. No, 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 no. Listen, he but that academics could have still did it. Yeah, did they was gonna no, no. do it at. They was gonna do a show together at, um, at um, Irving Plaza. A live show. Yes. A live show. And it's so, it was sold out already. Charleston White. It was sold, it was sold out. out. Show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. See, like, that'll work in New York. Because niggas will come that hate you. Niggas will come that fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I would have went to that. And y'all, y'all know I'm not even into I'm that. I'm not going to that. I'm not going to that. It would have been violence. Because that's when he was... Yo, he said... Canceling it was the best thing Yeah, it would have... Yo, somebody would have got lit up. And I don't no, it condone that violence. Yeah. You got the two guys that people want to put hands it was on like, the most. It was like it was all good until they started promoting it. No, it was when to he me. no when he went on that ramp and he went. Charleston White did that to promote the no, show. No, 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 no. Listen, stop. You cannot say what you say about a six and a seven year old girl. He he really said some next level. Then he said what he said about the Asian that community. Ain't next level. That's just offensive. And your pro neg- no. You have a daughter and he has a daughter. No, but what you, I'm you saying, didn't hear what he said. I'm talking about you the way. Hide, bro, bro, hide, bro, bro. Nah, son. Bro. I'm talking about the way you're wording it. He said some next level. That yes. ain't a next level. That's a lower level. It's it's negative and wrong. It's just just because the internet likes negative shit. Don't make it next level. Nobody co-signed what he said when he they co-signed all the yeah, new. Yeah, but they but, but then it get the clicks that they want and they get hype and that ain't next level. That's just nah, popular, you, nah, dumb, nah, negative nah, shit. Nah, 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 bro. Yes, you don't nigga. say. You don't say what you say about a little girl. Like he said some wild shit, bro. Right. Like no, son. but that ain't next level. Like, yes, it is, bro. He saying. says he says wild shit all the time. That's his. So fucking when somebody name. crosses a line, you, there is no line because they they going wild. It ain't like oh my god, nigga, you crossed the line. That's Takashi saying been putting a rat on his face. No, nah, that same ain't the shit. same thing. It if is, I, dog, bro. if I said, yo, listen, there's no way you can say what you say about a little girl, two little girls, it would in that capacity. Like he's, yo, my nigga, you don't. W- there's no way. This is the. I know you could be wild. You cannot. I didn't, I didn't hear it. No, my nigga, if you heard it, you would have been like, you out of line, bro. You would have. You would have said stuff that. No, I, my nigga. No, this is the one time you gotta let this one go. You don't say, and I don't even have a kid. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I see crazy as shit. That ain't that N- what? Cameron and Killer Season the movie spit on a little girl. Just spit on her. That ain't worse than. <laughs> listen, nigga, that shit crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but what he said, that's still crazier. Yo, he spit. On, I ain't even see that. You shit. See that? The nigga killed because the nigga yeah, killed his, his niece. He's gone. The nigga killed his niece, so then he ran up on the nigga. He shot at him, and the nigga ran, and the baby was still there. He's like, I'm he not like, gonna shoot you, bitch. He's, <laughs> he's <laughs> talking about Harlem. <laughs> what do we talk about? That's crazy. Yeah, but that yeah. was crazy. That's crazy. Salute to the Asians for and rallying. That was, on, that was in a movie that he made himself. Yeah. Whoever thought of that is an ill nigga. I I've always go back to that scene because I should, a, why? Yeah, why? Why does that scene yeah, entice because, you, Ghost? Because when I was young. Watching that shit. That's some ill shit. We, that shit. was some shit. We rewind over and over. I would have been like, did he just spit in the crazy. in the baby face, bro? Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's crazy. I but never forget that for the rest of my life. But that ain't crazier with that this nigga. That nigga said some crazy shit, bro. I'm sorry. What you? Do- this is just weird. 
I agree, but that's their marketing and promo. That's I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't going to say it because I, I don't want to be redundant with this marketing and promo shit. That's their big marketing and promo. They went too far. That's why I backfired on them. You know what I'm saying? We know he went too far because it backfired on him, and they had to cancel the show. You follow what I'm saying? But that's how they market and, and, and promote. I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be in favor of a nigga, and I'm not gonna knock a nigga neither. They're doing what they think they have to do to survive and get their thing on. I, we don't have that type of platform. You, you come from a background of shock value. You didn't go as far as as, as they doing. No, because you know what I'm saying. But listen, I'm, but listen, I'm, but you don't I'm talk sure. about children. But I'm, that's but understood. Sure that's I'm, morals. I'm, there are things that you have told me that you have done, and niggas that have been embarrassed, and and they wasn't that left, and you shouldn't have done that neither. That's real shit. I, I, and I'm, I'm big on let's not talk about what other niggas do when we do that shit too. I, 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 you know listen, what I'm saying? Listen, listen, I'm big on that. Listen, everything I've done, I've always had consent. That's not true. What? what? Yes. That, that's yes. not true. That's so crazy. Yes. That's not true. Yes. When you asked, when you when you said that to that to that dude that his his girl was getting fucked that got fucked by somebody else or whatever when you was at this is fifty who you, which you, you talking have, about you, ugly god yeah I, I don't I don't remember no 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 I'm gonna tell you, you what happened consent. with that you, no you no didn't no no have no. consent for that bro no no yes I did because no, you gotta watch the episode no, he was no, talking no. crazy like he was some type of pimp dude. Then he was just like, yo, fuck these bitches and this and that. Then he's like, yo, I'm this man. My girl, that I'm, and I'm like, yo, my nigga, why are you disrespecting everybody in here? He's like, this is what I do. I was like, and he was talking about how his girl gets DMs from rappers and he be, she be showing him and we have this extravagant relationship. I'm like, yo, my nigga, real shit, your bitch is cheating on you. Straight up. And guess what? History proved I was right. He's no longer with her and she was cheating on him. I said I told the truth. You you had concern for that. Once he disrespected everybody in the room, yes. Okay, okay, cool. When niggas disrespect you, nobody's more wicked than you. I don't consent, be, I, consent. I, I, I don't even be That's direct to you though. He was being. He said shit, and I was like, "Oh, yo, yo, my nigga, your bitch is cheating on you." Who you want me to tell you? It's on camera. Okay, I got you. It's I'm, on footage. I'm, I'm it's there. Saying, I'm, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? People. people and history proved the gods right. I'm just, just saying. Just like you, right? History has proven you right. I'm just saying, people, what I've learned in my age, in my experience, everybody got their own thing. That's true. Everybody think that their thing is always different from the next person thing, but everybody got their own thing. Everybody got their own way. And it's all about if you be around people that's mix and merge, that tolerate your own thing and tolerate your own way, and you can tolerate they shit. You know what I'm saying? That's about compromise. <laughs> That's all. I don't think nobody tolerated that one. That I'm one. Just saying, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm gonna, that I'm gonna one. give you the transcript. You're not, gonna be like, whoa. I'm not, bro. I'm not interested in the transcript. So I'm not. I'm not even talking about that. 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 That incident. I'm past that. I'm just talking about overall. When you're dealing with success and you're dealing with with business, it's like I feel like black people always feel like that they gotta be their best friend and they gotta be around each other and our families gotta know each other. If we don't hang out then we shouldn't be doing business together and I don't believe in that. I believe in you if you naturally hang out if, if bottom line I'm good. If, I feel Why? Like, I feel like if, Why, if, nigga? You, if, if you naturally hang out and you naturally want to do your thing you're making me lose my my, my, my my fucking thought process. I feel like if, if, if you want to naturally hang out, if you want to naturally do your thing, that's cool. But all you need to do is show up and do your job. That is it. That is the only requirement when you're working with somebody. It's not hanging out, not smoking weed with them, not fucking bitches with them, not traveling with them. The only thing that's necessary is to show up and do what the hell you say you're going to do and what you're supposed to do. Cool. I just feel like even though we got freedom of speech, people can do what they want, I, I can't co-sign you saying you're going to sexually assault a six-year-old girl. Nobody's asking you to. Huh? But you just, that's just somebody, you I'm can't, just, they, they, you have to have a standard. All I'm saying is that's not a next level. Set, one in, tell, next hold level on, hold on, hold on. If I sat here on bag fuel and I said, I'm going to, a six-year-old, there's no way. Come on, bro. Come on. 
You got a daughter and you got a daughter, bro. Not, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm not disagreeing with you. Okay, let me hear you out. <laughs> I'm saying you. your wording. I don't even know how we got back to this. I'm saying, wrong about what? You saying what he said was next level. Yes, it is. Next level implies that he got a boost in something for that. No, not next level of boost. I'm just saying in a, a level of disrespect and having some level of decency. That, that, that is a lower level. That's not. A no, that, no, no. Level. That's next level means disgusting. It's a. All right, that's some bottom tier scum bucket, yeah. dirt earth. I don't mean like in a higher level. If I if I gave off that impression, my bad. I'm just saying that's some bottom, that's not even bottom feeder. That's just, I don't know how to describe it. But that's just a different level of disgusting to sit there and say that about a six-year-old. Like, come on. I don't care how much clicks you get, how much money you make off of this. You got to pay bills. You got to trust yourself and your character and your talents to come up with a better way to go at an opponent than to speak on a... No, the academics does that all the time. And you think he doesn't have 20 people in the audience? Hold on. Does what all the time? You think he deserves more than 20 people in the audience? Because he does that all the time. Does what, though? You got to be... He does say next level shit. Uh, he, he, he's, he's talking with, about adults. The, he's not talking... Whoa, talk he's been beefing with Rory and talking about his kid and shit. He what did he say? crazy, bro. What did he say? You got to tell me what he said. I'm just saying, he goes back and forth with people all day. I, I understand, but that's a very so vague... If that's part of your brand, you think people want to... You think more than 20 people are going to show up to your shit? The negativity sells. People do love the negative shit. They do. Sadly, we've seen it. Shout rest, uh, like heartfelt to DC Young Fly, 85, not 85 South, whatever they do, 95 South. A 85 South yeah, is the show. South. They roast people. It's a way different dynamic than what academics does. And they, they be negative, but they be roasting people. I mean, people but are- they coming from it from a comedy aspect. It's not- I, I understand all of that. You know, we have freedom of speech- uh, Esso and I spoke about this on the phone the other day. Who am I to tell a person what the fuck they can do and say? Real shit. We, we, we're not. We're not supposed to do that. No, but I'm saying, how, wouldn't, don't you see the difference in the branding? And I would expect 20 people to go to academic shit because look at what the shit he's doing. It's not catering but, to but, but, an but, audience. But, Ghost, you just said that they had a sold-out show in New York. But negativity of niggas that want to fuck them up. I mean, huh? yeah, the negativity sells. But it's, the show didn't go off yeah, just because happen. of it. Because of the same so reason. All the, for the same mm -hmm. reason. So it would still go back to even if people tried to put it together, it's not going to work. And you had to put two of them together to be super negative to even try to make that work. If you mm -hmm. put one of them there, it might not work as good. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You got the double dynamic that's going to bring people to the to the spot. But... Mm -hmm. it's, that's, it, it goes back to us having that talk on the phone. We can't judge who's doing what. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he's I, saying something about somebody and somebody's kid and what he's doing, is he wrong? Yes, he's wrong, but I'm not going to judge. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. I don't know if these two niggas have words. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this nigga he's talking about, I don't know if he's right. I don't know nothing. So why am I going to sit here and judge because, oh, this nigga went too far? It's gonna it's things that we haven't said that wasn't even that far. And they he said, and they, and they went crazy and said that we went too far. And we looking like, what are you talking about? Then I'm going to turn around and judge what another nigga say? No. You don't think there's levels to the talk crazy game as a society that we've been alive long enough to know? Uh, it's, I, level, it's levels to everything, but that don't mean niggas ain't going to cross the line. No, I, I, I got it. Nigga, niggas are p habitual line steppers mm -hmm. all day, okay? But, With everything. You put I'm something saying, in the front of the way, they're they going to do it. You mm -hmm. think that helps or hurts their business? I think it I, I, Listen to in this. In the long run? In the hurts. long run, it's going to hurt your business. Everybody that's been that level of negative and shock hasn't lasted you Prefer need you need relationships. Yeah, you going to hurt your you you'll initiate you can bust a check. You'll get all this clout and fanfare if you if you these people have gotten big checks but then what's your longevity game? That money's going to run out. Everybody always thinks the money keeps coming. It's going to run you out. Go, so now you what? Gonna need, you going to need relationships especially cuz of how big they got. 
You know what I'm saying? If they was down here low tier, they couldn't have offended this many people. Yeah. You think so? If they were down here, like, yes, you wouldn't. Jim Poo says wild shit. Yo, all the time. you wouldn't have mad. You wouldn't have mad it. Swept under the rug. Heineken. You, why do you think that is? Niggas don't care. Yeah, because he's that. Not yet. If he gets bigger, bigger. pause. Yes. If he gets bigger, they're gonna care, Depending bro. On the platform. Yo, if he gets there, bigger, you go. The plat. Once you're in a certain level of eyeballs, yeah, more but bigger. that's getting bigger, bro. No, you. Don't, I. I. Cool. You don't always have to be. No, pardon, pause, big. You could be on the right platform. Perfect example, Cream. Right? She sat down with us. She said, can still say whatever the fuck she wants. Huh? But that, that, that wasn't offending nobody. She, and she can still say whatever the fuck she wants right now. That wasn't that wasn't directed towards somebody. She's, that's that what she wanted. But I'm giving you the that example. That was just a statement in her opinion. Okay, if you put us on a show right now, you put us on a show like Complex that's doing... 40 million viewers a month, and we both had 10,000 followers at that time, right? And we start going hammer, trust me, people are going to say, what's going on here? We're on a platform with 10 million followers, so naturally, once yeah. you, once they say, yo, we're going to fuck with you, you're, you're, you're stepping up, you're elevating it. It's, next it's, level. it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You're going to the next or Or if it goes... Some mega viral way, and it just keeps landing. And somebody, just like with the um, little Kim and Nikki thing that you spoke upon right now. Now, is it fair? Like, because your your status is higher, of course. But if that clip hits a certain way, and it's a person with eight thousand followers, it's Nikki. I you, think Nikki already responded to this. If I'm being real. <laughs> she responded to this. I, I believe she has, or she's going to. Nicki She's gonna diss you in a song. Song. Nicki Minaj a song. Nicki Minaj is going to diss you in a song. You act like you wishing for that. No, so like, nigga, because like, like, you, because you, no, 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 Shit, it I remember that. when Papu said my name in the song. You called me immediate. He's like, yo, yo, yo. He's like, yo, hon, that shit lit. Go that far, bro. I didn't what? even know. I you called me when Pat when you heard Pat was in the song. I never and you even, said that shit lit. I never even heard the song, but you say I remixed and said I called him. I don't even be knowing this shit. Yeah, you he be called, knowing that shit. He called me and told me, and I was like, word. He was like, yeah. I was you like, said that yo. shit lit. I was that like, shit fire. Yo, that's lit. But, yeah. I, but I didn't hope. I didn't say, "Yo, Pat Poos is gonna diss you. He's gonna diss you." I wouldn't have. Be lit. I wasn't. I wasn't excited about it, nigga. Oh, well, I'm thought, saying. I thought no, no, about no. the positive side of it once it happened. You think it would be a negative? She she puts your name in the song. Yeah, of she course. Tries. No, it's not. Of course. No, it's not. Of no, course. it's not. I, I stay in a. No, positive. it's not. I I try to stay in a positive light, especially with people from not only Queens but Southside Jamaica Queens, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I stand no. on, I stand on, since you brought it up, I stand on what I said. And I only agree. You didn't say nothing wrong. I only agree with I felt like that Little Kim, I didn't say Little Kim was a bigger star or none of that stuff. It, that was the clickbait part of it. I said that I liked Little Kim's songs better. I feel like Nikki is more for the women. I don't feel like she makes records for the men that men are gonna ever get in the joint and sing beside bees in, in, in the trap. And then people tell me that I love the record, and people be like, "Oh, that that shit, all right." You know what yo, I'm saying? Yo, that's what you're saying. That's how I feel about it. What you're it. saying is very offensive, yo. That's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> Like everybody acting like like this is like a, a big deal. Oh, like, it's a big deal. Like like on camera, <laughs> like in, in this world, you're not allowed to say what you really feel. No, you're no not more. allowed. Now on the internet, they do not want you. No, you're not they, allowed to they have an opinion. They like what they like. And I and I and I, I'm sorry. I don't like what y'all like. I'm sorry y'all hate me because I say how I really feel and what I really think, and I stand doing it. I'm sorry. But I keep telling my man Heineken, I'm not like y'all anyway. This is what, you know what I'm saying? saying. So once once that record comes, just like, you know, Gosh, yo, yo. this shit going to be ill. Nikki's going to give a, a subliminal to Esso. We're going to flip it. She ain't giving him no. She don't even. She's not going to give me a subliminal because that's going to blow me up. That's the one thing she's not going to do. 
She's not gonna blow a, not gonna a dude say up. Her name. You're not gonna say it. She's not. But we gonna know she's talking about. She's him. not. She's not even gonna. Yo, bro. I think she already did. Yo, she'll well, talk. What, what do you think she said, Ghost? She was just retweeting shit and saying. She's retweeting what? Tell me, nigga. Yes, nigga. I want this. I want this shit. Y'all, y'all kill me, <laughs> Bag fuel. Y'all gonna make me keep my opinions to, to, to no, myself, nigga. Bro. I dare you. What? What? What would you say? Come on, ghost. He ain't said nothing. I know. Oh, it ain't no it ain't it ain't no big it's just, deal. It's too broad. I don't know. What did she say? It's it, too broad. It's Read it, nigga. It Read that motherfucker. Cool. Why? You bring it up now. Because it's not. I don't want to even she didn't say nothing. If it's nothing, then just take it out the footage. I want to hear it. Read it. We'll see. We'll see. No, read it, my nigga. Come on. Text it to me. We'll see. I'll read it right. Tell me your phone. Yo. Yo. Oh, what, on Twitter? Like, subscribe. <laughs> Hold on. We're not kidding. Like, subscribe. Super thanks. Know what I'm saying? Follow Bag Fuel on Instagram. Share our stuff on YouTube. Spread the word. Follow Heineken, Space Ghost, and myself on Instagram. I'm sure y'all know the letters and the names. Until we see you again. Oh. By, by 90%. It's oh, been real. I see this. This was, what time? Yeah. Uh, that's a, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs>